G'day everyone and welcome to drawwithjazza.com Gotcha. I know what you're thinking, Draw With Jazza was over. Yes, I changed my channel name from Draw With Jazza to Just Jazza, but I still like to draw and I would like you to like to draw with me. Ironically, the new name of the website is Draw With Jazza. <laughs> But it's fitting because my website is mainly the place where I have products for you guys to check out, which has previously been on jazzastudios.com and been just ugly and horrible to update and really bad to manage and change. And people don't often search for Jazz Studios, they often search for Draw With Jazz. So it made sense to change the domain of my shop to drawwithjazza.com instead of jazzastudios.com. And it also made sense to redo the website with Wix. And I want to make this video to celebrate the new website and also show that I don't just talk the talk, I walk the Walk. I use Wix and I love Wix and I'm really excited about this redesign. I'm so excited I'm going to host a competition giving away $5,000 worth of prizes to you guys and you don't even need to do anything except for just to submit on the page in the description. Five lucky winners are going to win a Nintendo Switch. So they're up for grabs as are 10 packs that I will hand customly put together of things that I love and I know you're going to love. So if you're one of those 10 lucky winners, you'll get a whole bunch of great drawing goodies that you'll enjoy and I'm going to be giving away 50 50 coupons of any item of your choosing from the Draw With Jazza shop. So let me show you the Draw With Jazza shop and website. First of all, how smexy is this home page? And it feels like home now. It's actually got my, look at that, channel, website. Homepage of any website is really a place to show what the website's all about. And mine is all about my products, which I've put together over a number of years. And of course, a bit of a showcase of my work. So it shows my latest channel videos and my mind being blown. At how nice this is. Look at that at the bottom. Copyright 2020. I'm, I'm ahead of my time. <laughs> I'm just getting ahead of the game. I can't be bothered changing it when 2020 comes around. So I just wrote 2020 now. Don't judge me. So this is the shop page. And as you can see, it's got all those items I mentioned. There's like a really cool little hover over things. So you can see roughly what something is about. The preview images of the uh, Draw With Jazza Easy Anatomy book. You can switch next and previous between products. Just really cool presentation. I, like I love the way that the e-commerce works on Wix and the way it's presented. Of course you can filter. So if you're looking for something specific, let's say you want something anatomy related, you can click on that. It comes with my anatomy product. So speaking a little bit about myself and the channel, shows a little bit about me. Oh, look at this, the old mural. A little bit of history there in the about page. I really love how dynamic everything feels like when you scroll through the page, it really feels like alive and clean. There's an FAQ page. So if you have questions, we put a lot of, uh, a lot of the main questions we get here. And then there's the news page, which is mainly for like competitions and stuff when I launch them. So it's all really simple and really clean. And I just wanted to share that with you because I'm really excited about it. my My old website hasn't changed in like five or six years or something embarrassing. I am really excited to have something really beautiful that I can send people to now that also feels like the right name. <laughs> I can't, can't get over that irony. The website's changed to what the channel name was, but jazza.com wasn't available. So what are you going to do about it? Unless one of you owns jazza.com, in which case, please give me jazza.com. <laughs> All right, so how do you win one of those awesome prize packs? Well, you simply click on that link in the description and just fill in the application form thingy to be in the, in the draw to win. But I haven't actually made that submission page yet. So I thought that would actually be a good opportunity to show you how this website was put together as I put together a quick little submission page. So this is the Wix dashboard and this is where I can see my different products and the, what I can manage my shop here, email marketing. So if you have a newsletter or like a, some sort of contact form where you gather emails so you can email people stuff and it's super useful to be able to build an immediate way to contact your community and stuff. So anyways, I'm gonna go and edit my site. And look at that. If I wanted him to move a few inches, I don't have to enter any sort of code. I just go like that. There you go, he's moved there now. That's right. I'm basically a hacker now. Now when the website loads, and I'll just refresh here and just show you how it works. He, can sl he slides in from the side there and the title sort of pops down, which is really dynamic. It feels really fun. Just those little touches that make the website feel alive and adding stuff like that is as simple as just clicking this little animated button. You can choose where it comes in and at what speed. You can customize all those fine details and really like part by part, have your website react to how people move around. So for example, the background is scrolling there just because in the editor, it doesn't do the parallax thing, but you can change those settings by clicking on it, change strip background, go settings and you just 
simply click one of these scroll effects, parallax, reveal, zoom in, fade in. And that's how you can just like click that one setting and it will react differently depending on how people browse the website. And you really can use these tools to build like something super dynamic. Anyways, point is I'm supposed to build that page. So as you can see, I've got all my different pages here. Some of them are hidden from the menu, but are, are still like URLs on the page. So I have my Artie Games privacy policy. Every time I need like a new page to link to for some sort of submission form for a competition, you just click add page. I'll call this giveaway. So I think spell giveaway, I think so. But you'll notice it's showing in the menu there. So I just click on this, go settings and hide it from the menu. So now I've got the page itself and it'll be drawwithjazzer.com slash giveaway, which will be the link in the description. Now I have to make a submission form. Oh, how do I do that? Well, lucky I'm a hacker. Remember, I'm gonna go to, what's this user input? Oh, contact forms. So you simply like click this plus button. There are all these different options for things you can add to a page. And all these categories are just pre-built items that you simply just change the, the, the details and settings to, including store. Like how do you set up e-commerce? You click store and you drag on the shop, done. <laughs> It's amazing, honestly, if you're starting a, like a freelance business is always the thing that I go to because that's why I started my website back in the day. One of the reasons I encourage artists and creatives to have a website is because it's one of the best ways to get your profile out there. Wix really is the best and easiest way to just to do it without needing to be a coder. So under contact forms, as you can see, there's a bunch of different like pre-built forms and I'm just gonna go to contest. There you go, that makes it easy. Pick one that suits the website. This one looks pretty cool. Look at that. Ha. Well, there it is. That was easy. I think I need a header and I want to align it in the middle. So I'll just snap it to the center there. So I can just simply go to the FAQ page. I like that header here. So I'll just grab that and copy and go back to giveaway and paste. Website launch giveaway. So I click design. They have a whole bunch of different sort of preset design things. I think that's closest to what I want, but I'll just tweak the colors. If you don't like the sharp corners, let's just give that a radius of like four pixels. Just slightly softens the boxes. Maybe make that six. Name. Don't worry, I don't need your phone number. I don't need your birthday. Oh, that's a good idea. Let's add a terms and condition tick box. But really, that's all we need. So I could just move this because it's a pretty big area. So I can shrink that. By the time you see this video, that will link to a terms and conditions. So we'll just make a quick little page which will explain what the rules are and what the disqualification terms are. I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like the page is pretty empty though. So I'm just gonna add a Jazza avatar. Fortunately, I have a huge archive and collection of Jazza avatars. Who suits the competition? Oh, sexy Jazza. Add to page. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, it's perfect. Done, wrap it up, finished. <laughs> Obviously that's not exactly what we need, but let's let's put him down here. Oh, look at that. Little bit of sex appeal to the sexy website. Love it. And let's give him an animation. <laughs> oh, there's so many options. Ooh. <laughs> um, ooh. Ooh, yeah, I like that. All right. Beautiful. So that's pretty much ready to go out and all I have to do is click publish or preview if I wanna see how it looks. However, I like to make sure I have a mobile version. Usually that's pretty complicated when you're building a website and I've done it in the past with WordPress or manually, which ugh, don't, ugh, don't. But here you just literally click switch to mobile and it compiles everything that you've put together in a bit of a mobile view. It usually makes it misses the mark a little bit just because it's trying to read what you did for a full website. So you just can simply grab the elements that it's roughly put into position, make your final tweaks to make it look good on a mobile device. Let's shrink that submission form. Sexy Jazza can stay. And then I'm happy with that. I've got the desktop and the mobile version. I'll publish that. I mean, seriously, this is the old version of my mobile website. It has a Twitter feed and way too much text. Oh my God. So six years ago. Look at this. This is my new website. Ah, oh, it's so cool. And it's like swipey and interactive, just like a website on your mobile should be. And I didn't have to do all the complicated Cody stuff. It does it all that for me. So if you're interested, of course, in building your own website, I recommend doing it with Wix. How my new website has been built, how my shop has been built. I'm really excited to be switching over to their e-commerce setup. It's way simpler. They also don't take a cut out of your e-commerce. Go check out Wix. The link is also in the description to get started today. But if you're just here for the prize, as the submission form is in the description. Go enter your details. There's $5,000 of prizes up for grabs and I'd encourage you while you're there on my beautiful new website, just to have a little bit of a look around and tell me what you think. And if you're interested, check out the shop. I've got some really cool stuff on there. Anyways, this video is obviously pretty much just like a website launch, bit of a giveaway in there just to have a bit of fun, bit of celebration. And obviously it's sponsored by Wix and it's a bit of an advertisement too, but it really is an amazing partnership with Wix and it's an amazing website builder, as you can see. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoy the, uh, the website and good luck in the giveaway. I'll see you later.